Good morning, Eric Essiger. It's good to meet you, and uh, it's a great day. Um, I see that uh, this is your second uh, Global Arab Beat that you've attended. I believe you were here last year. Exactly. And uh, what's your take uh, between last year and this year? You've seen the proceedings in a very detailed manner. You've seen Horasis come up with issues and topics that are very relevant. What's your take on this, Eric, that uh, uh, if I were to ask you some of the key issues that you attend and the, some of the key issues that you take home uh, in your business relevant to what's going on at Horasis Summits? Well, for me, the Horasis Summits is a great opportunity mm -hmm. to meet people from the region, but also from abroad. And I think, in particularly those days, it is very important to have mm -hmm. the words from, as we say it, from the horse's mouth mm -hmm. to that's see right. what's going on in the countries mm -hmm. and where the developments are. Uh -huh. And that's what I take from these gatherings such as Horasis, that you've got a good opportunity to meet and talk to a number of people which are of relevance for both the regions but also abroad in order to see the impact of the economic development and to see where it will guide us on the short term as well as the medium term. Very good. Uh, I believe uh, Emirates Capital and you facilitate a lot of uh, trade between Europe and the Arab region. And uh, if I were to ask you a quick, quick question on, on the backdrop of the seismic shift we see in the world economy, challenges, issues, and uh, what's your take and what's your opinion on, on the economy at this at this juncture, relevant to the Arab and the European uh, trade? Well, I think that in the Arab world is doing much better mm -hmm. now than Europe currently, because Europe is in a deep crisis and Europe has to find answers for the most recent problems. However, wherever you go those days, you will hear that the emerging markets are the locomotive of the global economy. Correct. Now, Europe will learn its lesson that they have to be here in the region. The companies from Europe have to make sure that they find their growth paths for their, for their business. And the growth paths definitely includes the MENA region as mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the drivers for that. We are, as Emirates Capitals, catering mm -hmm. for that growth because we are bring investments to the region, not only from the region to Europe. We go both ways. It's a dual trade. Uh, dual Absolutely. Way. Okay. It's, it's a, it's a bi-directional way. And we support the region here by bringing international opportunities to the region, but also bringing companies to the region which wants to set up developments, which wants to set up production. Very good. In fact, I was... Um, uh, in the morning session, I heard someone say that uh, uh, by 2030, or close to that, uh, the Arab world economy put together would be equal to something like Germany and France. And uh, that could be another engine of growth. Right now, people talk of Asia, they talk of China and India, but do you see that, because you're so well entrenched in this region, do you see that in the next <coughs> 10 years, the, the market share, uh, the engine of growth, if you will, for the Arab world, would be significant? Absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, it is easy to understand that there are a number of infrastructural measures which are being taken now in particular after the Arabic Spring. Mm -hmm. And that will add to the economic growth substantially. Mm -hmm. Hence, we see that the growth here from the region will be a large contributor to the success and the growth of European companies mm -hmm. simultaneously as it will add to the growth of the region. Well, so you're fairly optimistic in regard to the go forward in the next 10, 15 years in terms of this region's economic activity. Well, it's always difficult to make a projection those days on that long term. However, I'm convinced that the Arab Spring will guide us to a more stable region. Mm -hmm. The Arab Spring 
will certainly have is difficulties and impacts on the short term, but on the medium and long term, we will see a great development for the entire region and the, the wealth, I'm convinced, of, will be distributed and allocated in a much broader way than it has been in the past. Very good. So I think uh, it was nice to talk to you, Eric. Uh, I think your opinions and a lot of people would be very key to know your take because you've got first-hand experience for a long time between this trade. Thank you for being here and giving us the time and uh, appreciate your being on the panel. Oh, Thanks a pleasure. Lot. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank Thanks. you.